grew my first chin beard in 10th grade. Not the broom it is today, a half inch at most, but enough to change the game. Less emasculating sarcasm from peers. More attention from girls. Feeling closer to adulthood than childhood, seeing that manly little outgrowth in the side view mirror as I cruised along with a newly acquired driver's license. Well, the hair and its effect have been growing ever since. On a three-week road trip from Philly to LA, my friends and I ended up along the same route as 50,000 hogs headed for the 60th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota. Everywhere we went, it was bikes, beer, and badasses. On the outside, well, from the neck up at least, I blended in and earned us a little cred in a subculture not known for its warmth. <laughs> On the inside, I'm too anxious to ride at 10 speed through town. <laughs> Some years later, I was in the Uyghur city of Kashgar, where the Muslim men greeted my uncut bushiness with nods of approval, perhaps <laughs> thinking that I was with Allah, <laughs> when in fact I'm spiritual but not religious, as my dating profile might say. <laughs> After that, I took a teaching job at an urban Maryland high school in which being a goat-like caricature of myself fast-tracked classroom rapport and greatly increased the number of completed homework assignments. Impressive how a tuft of facial pubes can alter so many outcomes. <laughs> how differently might events have unfolded had I shaved, which triggered conversations and resulting relationships never have occurred. Which ones would have in their place? Maybe I get carjacked or miss meeting the love of my life in the beardless version. If nothing else, against my bald-headedness, it keeps me from looking like a crazed volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Beard power.